Once you've completed the syllabus, the homework will automatically unlock. So we can go to the first section of the course, the first unit, by either scrolling down and clicking the name of the unit, or by going over here to the left and clicking the folder. And as we scroll down past all the common stuff throughout the course, uh, you can see here the Unit 1 Edfinity homework. And like I said, this will open up automatically for you as soon as you complete the, the syllabus quiz. The cost is $23.25. I know that's a little higher than I said it would be on Spire, like so many other uh, digital resources during this remote learning. These um, companies, they need way more server space than, than they did, you know, a year and a half ago. And as a consequence, a lot of them have been forced to raise their prices. But you can access the homework directly through here. And that way, your grades will automatically transfer between Moodle and Infinity, and they'll talk to each other, and everything will be easy peasy. How to do the homework? Well, the way to make your life easy is to either A, just read the book. Um, so if you click that link, you'll notice it will take you to the first page of the relevant unit. So it's taken me to unit one on a page, and I can expand these out to sort of read what I need to read. And embedded within the homework uh, text, within the reading, are the homework problems. So as you scroll around and get to the uh, various sections, you can find um, homework problems. So here is the first homework problem. And these numbers match between the book and Infinity. So this homework problem, the material you need to answer it, is in the text immediately above. Another way to navigate the homework is to click this link, and it will take you to all of the homework problems for that unit um, in one giant list. And then you can just click the link, and it'll take you to the relevant section of the book, and so you can find what you need. So once again, these numbers match the problem numbers in Infinity. So if you're working on, you know, uh, problem 12, and you're not quite sure how to go about uh, doing it, well, the easiest thing to do is would be to come here, click 12, and it will take you to that part of the book and the information you need is directly above it. And you can see that as with many of the books, as was described in the video on the textbook, you've got the video, the text, it's the same information, do it however you like. Okay, so that is sort of the easy way to navigate the homework. Within Infinity itself, once you, you know, have paid the the fee and everything, you open it up, this is what it should look like. Once again, these problem numbers match the problem numbers within the textbook. You can see there are 27 problems in the book and 27 problems in Infinity, and they match. And so, you know, it makes it easy to pick up and put down. So you can jump to problem 14, say, there you go, and you're working on that and then you say, okay, I'm not quite sure about it. Go back to the book, click 14, and it'll take you, like I said, to that particular bit of information. You see you got six uh, attempts for each problem and uh, it sort of keeps score and completion down here at the bottom. So hopefully you have found this video to be helpful and this concludes this video.